Hi, in this video we're going to introduce comparison operators. Comparison operators let us compare two values. For example, if x is 10 and y is 15, we can compare the values. Since x is less than y, z will have a value of true. Here are all the comparison operators we're going to look at. Equal to, not equal to, greater than, less than, greater than or equal to, and less than or equal to. I want you to pay particular attention to the equal to operator. Notice that we use two equal signs right next to each other. This is not the same as a single equal sign which is used in the assignment statement. Single equals is for creating and changing variables whereas double equals is used for checking if two things are equal to each other. You're probably going to mix this up at some point and don't worry, I've done it too. Let's look at an example. Here we're going to ask the user to input their age. Let's say they enter 22. We can then use a comparison operator to evaluate the input and store that value in a new variable. In this case, the value for old enough will evaluate to true since 22 is greater than 18. Finally, we can print out the results of our new variable. Let's look at another example, this time using logical operators. We will start off asking the user what their grade is. For example, let's say the user enters 85. Using both the comparison operator and the logical operator, we can assign a Boolean value to the new variable got B. Notice how we need to use the variable grade in both comparisons. We can't just say that a grade is between 80 and 90. We need to say that grade is greater than or equal to 80 and grade is less than 90. Finally, we can print out the results. Now I want to talk about each of the operators we saw in this lesson and how it compares to strings. Equal to and not equal to are pretty self-explanatory. Greater than and less than require a bit of explanation. Basically, string 1 is less than string 2 if it would appear earlier in the dictionary. This is tricky because strings can have more than just letters, and they can also have capital and lowercase letters. Here's a semi-complete list of characters that can occur in strings, in the order that Python considers them. I don't think you'll ever be asked to memorize this, but do make note of the fact that all digits come before letters, and all capital letters come before lowercase letters. Now that we've seen different comparison operators, it's your turn to explore in the editor.